November 6th, 2021. This is Saturday. Hi. Uh, this is take two. Um, I think I liked it better when I was pretty certain that I was just talking to myself and I didn't have to worry at all um, if there was anyone even remotely curious and might even click on something and accidentally, um, you know, see one of these. But uh, good news is um, people's attention spans are really short. And so as long as I just talk about nothing for a little while, um, people get bored and disinterested and uh, lose, you know, just go away, which is good. Um, because I usually it takes me a while to get my thoughts going uh, before I get to the interesting stuff. So uh, you know, it takes it can it, it's just scattered and uh, hidden and it's mixed in. So uh, that's it's good that I can just talk about nothing and lose people's interest and they go away. And then uh, so I can keep I can keep doing this as long as I uh, camouflage and uh, make sure that uh, I'm as uninteresting as possible, for as long as possible, uh, to make sure I lose um, any audience that might happen to accidentally click on these. So I figure around uh, anywhere between, uh, let's say, 3 and 17 minutes is where I might actually talk about something remotely interesting. So. Uh, Feel free to go. And I'm just going to stare at the camera, so feel free to you know, just go. So, anyway, for anyone still, yeah, I wouldn't know why anybody would, but it's this is fun for me. This is how I spend my time. Yeah. Sometimes, not all the time. But this is just one of the things I do. If anybody ever wants to know, or like anytime I write about whatever it is I do, and it's like this is one of the things that it's whatever it is I do. That's one of the things that it's my mind at play. And I get to do these things, and it doesn't uh, require much. It's very uh, low key and uh, doesn't consume energy. And Well, it consumes energy, but minimal energy. You know, it doesn't require me to, you know, drive anywhere and, you know, I don't know, stuff like that. It's like when I go for a run, I don't drive someplace to go for a run. I go for a run from where I'm at, and, like, my range is where I can, wherever I can run to. And I also have a bike, um, which I don't ride. Um, I don't know why, but... Um, I prefer running, but it is getting colder out, and I'm still playing with running, not playing, but uh, doing, um, and I've already had a couple runs at just, just above freezing, so um, I haven't run in the snow yet, but I noticed that my shoes are already falling apart. I've been, uh, the tread, it's amazing. I don't know if they just don't make shoes like they used to or not. But I have run the tread on uh, a pair of my Saucony's, like, worn flat. Like, the entire tread is just gone. You can see the wear pattern of how, I'm, how my, my foot travels and uh, how I'm encountering the ground and applying tread and friction and traction and all that stuff. Physics. The physics of my tread. So, anyway. And I guess I was thinking about how... You know, I read what I wrote yesterday, and my first thought is just like, who wrote this? And it's like, I know I did, and um, I recognize my style, or if I have a style, I recognize it as one of my styles. Um, but I don't know where it comes from. I mean, I know where it comes from, but I don't know how to produce it. Like on demand, like on, like somebody said, hey, you got to do this, you know, it's like I wouldn't be able to say if I could or when, because I don't 
just sit down. It's like I have to be in the mood um, or something like that. Because I could just sit down and be like, I just stare. You know, but if I have something to say, give me a thought and I can just run with it. And just based on my own experience, it's like a, a prompt. It's like a, like a, a psychic prompt or something. And uh, just with one thought, I can just throw my entire experience at it and come up with something entirely <sighs> something. So, and I don't, you know, I don't know, sometimes I feel like I can, you know, a lot of times I feel like I can be, it could be interpreted as highly uh, judgmental or condemnational or, because uh, I'm mostly just talking about myself as though I'm talking, you know, about myself. Because that's what I'm doing almost all the time is I'm talking to myself, whether I'm talking to somebody else or talking in a group, a lot of times I'm talking to myself. Um, including here. I'm just letting myself know what I think. Basically. Um, so I, I have very limited social um, interaction and engagement. Um, you know, a lot of it is uh, me, uh, as per the usual, to me, uh, trying to get by with appearing normal. So I don't draw attention myself or, uh, cause I, I think I get enough attention as it is and, uh, I don't really need any more. And when I want more, I don't know how to go about that. And it just comes off cause it even came up today. And I was like talking about how I, I feel like, uh, a lot of times I come off as, I feel like I'm being creepy. And I don't know. It's like I'm trying to be friendly, but it might be creepy. And I can't tell the difference. Because there's like rules of being nice. And it's like, and it's like gender specific and things like that. And it's like, there's like things going on that I'm not aware of. And I might be misconstrued as a, I don't know. So, so I mostly just leave people alone as much as possible. That way I don't have to worry about it. Cause I'm just most, when I'm out there, most of the time, you know, uh, I'm, I'm just going to work and that's my, I don't really have like a social life like it today. It's Saturday. It's, Ooh, it's Saturday night. It's like, 7 p.m. here almost and uh, the house and the people that live here you know, it's like oh it's Saturday night it's the weekend it's whatever people do um, you know back in the day um, you know that was me too I guess I think maybe except you know I did things differently um, my I don't know different stories different rituals different habits but it wasn't anything like how, you know, regular people, as I think of them, tend to think of things, you know, which could be entirely wrong. Uh, but I don't go out to, you know, uh, well, there aren't really nightclubs around here. Um, but I, back when I was a lot younger, I did visit and partake and patronize um, so, such establishments. I don't know what I really got out of it. I mostly just drank. Um, and was there, I was visible, but uh, mostly was just there to drink, and so mission accomplished. Um, and you know, so, yeah, because I didn't really know how to socialize, um, so I just, I would do what I knew how to do, and it didn't require me, it didn't require much of me, as far as like, knowing what to do. It's like, if I could just drink, that's something I could do, and I could maybe have, uh, little quips or comments or little conversational tidbits that made it seem like I was having a good time or knew or felt accepted or was part of the group or whatever. But uh, I mostly just, you know, I don't know. 
So now, living as I'm living now, um, like I don't, even on a Saturday night, it's like, I don't know what one is supposed to do. Um, you know, there's a lot, you know, there's no nightclubs or anything like that, really. Um, there's bars, but I, I wouldn't even know. It's like everybody would just be drinking. And uh, I don't really care for much conversation with people that are, you know, um, <laughs> in their sober mind. Um, so I don't know about, you know, going out and visiting or socializing with people that are, you know, just out of their gourd, you know, just, so, not, again, there's that judgmental part. This is why I just, uh, stick to myself here. So, and this is another reason why you have to go deep into these videos to even, you know, get to anything that would even remotely, you know, cause me to worry about you know, and be self-conscious over, what did I say? Oh no, I might have insulted or offended somebody. Well, that's bound to happen. If, if anybody has ever watched any, any of these all the way through, then I am bound to insult and bound to offend. Um, it's just, you know, how it is, because I have no idea, and I don't mean it. Um, this is un just... I, I feel for my perspective, that I'm protecting people by not exposing them or inflicting myself on the rest of society. I'll just keep myself removed where I can do as little damage as possible. I will, um, but I still will, um, you know, socialize as far as, uh, you know, besides work, the only other social I have is, uh, you know, the meetings. And, um, that's it. That's all I've got. And that's enough. I really get more out of just, you know, I like my writing. And, uh, I like running. And, um, I like being outside. And, uh, yeah. That and, you know, just watching YouTube videos and... You know, playing some old Steam games that I used to play back in the day, seeing if I even still enjoy them. Hmm. It's a little bit of like nostalgia, you know, familiarity, you know. But it's different. And there's really not much else going on. I mean, there's the other whole thing, which I don't know what's going on, how that. It's like. Is there something going on? Is there not something going on? I'm just kind of... I've, As far as I'm concerned, I've done as much as what I know how to do um, at this time. And I'm trying to keep an eye on things and keep paying attention and staying accessible and available. Um, but uh, I can't do um, much more by myself. Um, as far as like giving attention or like do, is, is more attention wanted is less attention wanted it seems, well I don't have any communication so there's there's no communication no conversation um, no I am working on inference and de de deduction and uh, the feelings and I could be totally wrong about all of it. I just am. I am beside myself, literally, sometimes, with what am I doing? Why do I think what I think is right? Am I. I might. It's like I am severely worried that I am somehow traumatizing uh, somebody else by paying, paying them all this attention when it's not wanted. And they are, their only uh, uh, resort is to be completely silent, not say a thing, not interact, not comment, just hope I go away, hope I lose interest. And 
so it's like I sometimes wonder well maybe I should maybe I should just just go away completely just disappear because I'm just guessing that that is the wish and so it's like I can do things I can I can yeah it's like I, but I want to be told that's the thing and it's like are they afraid to tell me because if it's like if go away is the wish that I can do that I don't want to but I could and I would you know I would tell myself whatever story I want to tell myself and have it make sense and I'd let myself I would let myself feel bad for a you know a good while but you know I've already accepted that as a possibility so I've, I've had plenty of time to accept that as already as being a, a likelihood or a, a likelihood of a possibility. I mean, I hope it's not the case. I hope it's uh, there's a, that. I hope it's the whole thing with the whole potential and the possibility, and you know, somehow I'm actually correct in because if I am. I'm trying to not let myself believe too much because I already have enough confidence. I can I can still be destroyed by like a single word, but for the most part, I have way too much confidence. And if I feel like I'm believed in and that uh, somebody, yeah, and if, if half of the things that I think it's like, oh, that's, uh-oh. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that. It's the bells. It's 7 o'clock. They repaired um, the bells in the clock tower nearby the college. So it's like on the hour, and I think on the half hour, they're... Uh, so I, I'm planning on going to record them at some point. I don't know if they ring all night. I don't think they do. So they might be programmed to like stop at a reasonable hour, so they're not like. But I haven't figured it out yet. They've only gotten them repaired in the last few days. And then tonight is uh, daylight savings here, so we fall back an hour. So. At 2 a.m. on Sunday morning, all of a sudden, as a collective organism, um, this society will decide to set their clocks back one hour. And uh, I'll be at work, so at 2 a.m., when I'm at work, all of a sudden it'll become 1 a.m., so I, I'll, I'll get to live that same hour on the clock twice. Yeah, but I'm only physically at work for eight and a half hours. But two of those hours are the same hour. So, anyway, it makes for an interesting day. But this will be the first year when I'm actually at work when it happens. So, usually you just go to sleep with having set your clock forward and then wake up the next morning and it's just a different time. And it's like that. Yeah. So, anyway, I think I've covered the basics. Um, and I think I've, no one watches these now. Um, no one has ever made it through an entire video, I, I'm pretty sure. So now I can say whatever I want and no one will ever have made it this far. I won't even make it this far. I'm rewatching. Um, I just wanted to say that I have become aware that there are people watching, or at least checking it out to see what it is about. And like after that one video uh, recently, um, not mine, um, I got a little bit of extra interest from. Uh, well, I don't even know who they are. They're just for me, just random people. Um, I don't know where they come from. Um, 
there's no way, for, as far as I know, there's no way for me to tell. Um, just random traffic. So, and I can see the analytics and stuff, and you know, just a, but it doesn't really tell me much. At least I don't know how. Um, it's very confusing. I don't get it. And, you know, I'm not really trying to attract any sort of traffic. So whatever traffic I get, it's not by intent. So it's like I'm not sprucing up the joint to uh, create interest. Um, again, this is purely for just my own um, reflection and entertainment. And if anybody else happens to, you know, good luck. This is uh, Saturday night, November 6th, 2021. This is what I was doing, for better or for worse. And tomorrow I'll be at work, and then after I'll go for a run. And uh, it's supposed to be a nice day out. So I'm looking forward to it. That's a pretty simple life. It's a life I can live. So, it's a lot better than how it used to be. So, and it's getting better, too. So, I hope things are going well enough.